Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the second series of clinical research and pharmacovigilance. In this video, we are going to see about uh, informed consent. So, informed consent is a fundamental ethical principle and a legal requirement in the field of medical and research ethics. It involves obtaining voluntary, inform well informed, and uh, comprehensive uh, agreement from individuals before they participate in the medical treatment procedure clinical trial or any other research study the concept of informed consent ensures that the individuals have a clear understanding of the risks benefits procedures and alternatives associated with the with their participation it allows them to make informed decisions about their own health care and participation in the research the ethical principles governing informed consent first is voluntariness the consent must be freely given without uh, coercion pressure or undue influence uh, participants should feel free uh, that they can decline or withdraw from the participation without negative consequences capacity individuals providing consent should have legal and mental capacity to understand the information provided and make a decision in some cases individuals who lack the capacity for example in case of minors or individuals with cognitive impairments may require a legally authorized representative to provide the consent on their behalf they may be parents guardians or well wishers <coughs> next is information disclosure researchers or medical professionals must provide comprehensive and understandable information about the study or treatment including the purpose procedures potential risks and benefits expected outcomes and any available alternatives then understanding participants uh, should comprehend the information provided to them researchers and uh, medical professionals should use clear and plain language and ensure that participants have opportunity to ask questions then decision making participants uh, should have adequate time to consider the information and make a decision they should be allowed to consult uh, with the family members healthcare providers or any others if they need documentation uh, consent uh, should be documented in writing through a consent form signed by the participant or their authorized representative the form typically includes uh, details about the study the participants agreement and uh, contact information for the researchers importance uh, of the informed consent in clinical research informed consent is crucial for protecting the participants autonomy rights and safety it helps to prevent unethical practices ensures uh, that the individuals are aware of the potential risks and benefits and upholds ethical standards in the medical treatment and research additionally the informed consent is an essential requirement for the approval of clinical trials and research studies by ethical review boards or the institutional review boards various elements of uh, the informed uh, consent what are the elements which constitute the informed consent so it has various elements which are highlighted here one is a explanation of the study procedure for example uh, what is the study uh, for what purpose it is done then it has to tell about the risks and benefits it should uh, provide the alternatives it should uh, disclose that it is the information collected is confidential it should give the contact information then it should be comprehensive and uh, the participants uh, should have the opportunity to ask questions and it should be in a consent form sometimes if needed uh, the parent or guardian consent uh, uh, could be taken language consideration for example vernacular languages uh, tamil english or <coughs> malayalam or hindi whatever language uh, which is understandable to the uh, participants it should be there in the informed consent and it should be documented so let us see the explanation of the study or procedure the informed consent uh, should be a clear description of the study treatment or procedure including its purpose and objectives an explanation of what participants will be asked to do or undergo 
then risks and benefits a detailed explanation of the potential risks and discomforts associated with participating in the study or procedure an outline of the potential benefits to the participants or society as a whole should be included as a element in the informed consent then alternatives information about any alternative treatments procedures or options available including their potential benefits and risks then voluntary participation an assurance that the participation is entirely voluntary and the individuals have the right to refuse or withdraw at any time without any consequences then confidentiality an explanation of how the participant information will be handled kept confidential and who will have the access to it these elements should be there in the informed consent then contact information contact details of the researchers or, or the healthcare providers who can address any questions or concerns uh, participants may have should be there in the informed consent then comprehension ensuring that the participants uh, understand uh, the provided information it should be just it should be understandable to them researchers may use plain language and assess the participants uh, comprehension through discussions or quizzes that you have to check it first uh, whether they understand it or not then opportunity to ask questions giving the participants ample opportunity to ask questions about the study procedure or treatment and receiving answers to their satisfaction then consent form uh, providing uh, a written consent form that summarizes the key information and uh, outlines the participants agreement to participate it should include the details about the study duration procedures potential risks benefits and alternatives sometimes uh, if needed parental or guardian consent should be taken off when involving minors or individuals lacking the legal capacity to provide the consent obtaining informed consent from their parents or legal guardians is one of the important element of informed consent then language and cultural considerations providing information in the language understood by the participant recognizing and respecting the cultural factors that may influence the participants understanding and decision making then documentation uh, collecting the participants uh, signature uh, on the consent form to acknowledge uh, their understanding and agreement to participate so it is a very uh, um, a short information of what is informed consent what is the importance of informed consent what are the important elements of informed consent all these are disclosed to you i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel go through all the series of videos which is available in the playlist clinical research and uh, pharmacovigilance and uh, score well uh, in the pharma topics channel and score well in your forthcoming exams thank you